Quack. Hello and welcome back. It's been a while, but today we're going to be talking about long paths on Windows. Uh, Windows is notable for having a bit of a strange restriction on paths, and we're going to see how to get around it today. All right, so let's take a look at this. Today I'm going to be using Python to demonstrate, mostly because it is much easier to make long strings. However, you can also reproduce the same findings with just a vanilla prompt. First we'll get started with a really, really long path. Yes, quite long. And then we're going to try and do a file operation on it. Wah, wah. You'll notice that we get an error. The file name or extension is too long. But with this one stupid trick, Wow, it worked! And just to confirm... Yep, definitely there. And yep, definitely a directory. Okay. So let's jump into why this happens. So first let's try and understand what the limitations are. These restrictions are most commonly referred to by the name of the constant, max underscore path. Max path is equal to 260, and if we take away characters for the drive letter, a null terminator, and the resulting file name, we're left with at most 244 characters for a directory structure. Now wait a minute, Anthony. What the heck is an 8.3 file name? Well, I'm glad you asked. An 8.3 file name, also known as a short file name, is a naming convention used to shorten file names, 8 being the name and 3 being the extension. Canonically, it's uppercased, and when the name is too long, it is shortened with a tilde and a number. These rarely come up in commuting since the last release of MS-DOS was almost two decades ago. Starting in Windows 10, you can globally turn off the max path restriction. Either roll up your sleeves and dive into the Windows registry, or you can change it using a group policy, enable NTFS long paths. Now, this isn't bulletproof. These policies, for the most part, only affect 64-bit programs and won't be applied to 32-bit software. Or you can use the trick I demonstrated earlier. The documentation names this either UNC paths or extended length paths. Simply prefix the path with backslash backslash question mark backslash, and it'll just work. This allows for paths up to 32,000 characters, although with path expansion, it might be a little bit less than that. Note that when you're using this form of paths, that the operating system will not go through its usual path normalization procedures. For the most part, this just means that you can't use forward slashes as separators, and you can't leave off the drive letter. My favorite part about this WAT is I actually ran into this in the wild. I maintain a multi-language framework for Git hooks called Precommit, and one of the languages it supports is JavaScript. If you've ever worked with NPM, you'll know that installing dependencies often spews thousands of directories into your node modules folder, which can lead to some really deep paths. When I wrote these slides, which I guess was quite a while ago now, NPM itself required a directory structure that was 199 characters deep, which didn't really leave much left over for that 244 character limit. NPM has since switched to a flatter directory structure, so I guess this is a little less relevant now. But using the extended path trick, Precommit now supports Node.js on Windows. Thanks for watching, and have a good one!